No way. I mean, if you have like King of Diamonds 10 or King of Diamonds Jack or King of Diamonds Queen, this Stop is like it. a massive punt if I fold. Okay, so three, three, <laughs> Just 20. zeroes right in on the very first guess. Beginning to perhaps suspect that Kuhn has peddled this storyline of having the goods every single hand a little too much and is looking to leverage it. But he is, of course, sorely mistaken as Kuhn has ace-queen. Yeah, and king-10, not a bad hand to do it with, especially facing a button open. So hand selection does matter a little bit and you know, not going to be a huge favorite with Kuhn having the ace-queen, but still very live. Jason doing a little accounting there. And obviously, Reardon's the one guy from whom he doesn't want to experience these three bets because he's the lone undertaker for Kuhn's stack. Jason in second, Reardon the chip leader. Well, and it's funny because Jason has kind of been saying how Reardon has been three betting without it, but this is actually the first time where he has actually squeezed with a hand that wasn't actually dominating the rest of the field. Jack 10 Trey. Backdoor diamonds advantage Kuhn, who has two overs and the gutshot Broadway draw. One of those kings busy in Reardon's hand. And John has flopped middle pair and the lead. 90. 90 into 360. Quarter pot bet. Certainly at that price being laid five to one, you would expect Jason to come along at a minimum. Cool. Which he does. Now this one up to over half a million. Oh, and that is soaking wet. Queen of diamonds on the turn, giving both players royal flush draws. Reardon is open-ended. Of course, the ace of diamonds is busy, so is the king, so there will be no royal flush, but I don't know that. And Kuhn now has the best hand with the queens. Definitely the kind of turn card that makes both players feel like they have a lot of life in this hand. Just a lot of possibilities, the ability to continue. Semi-bluff, even. Mm-hmm. Reardon with the betting lead, though. What are you doing in John's seat in this spot, having played it the same way to this point? I mean, you have a hand that has a ton of equity if it's not ahead at this moment. And you have your opponent covered. You're, you're out of position, though. So. <laughs> oh, boy. Good Christ, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. So all the pressure is, is what no he decides way, to do. No way, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my so god. Tough. No way. Putting all of the ICM pressure on Kuhn is reared in uh, here. Just a coffin of a bet size, really. I do not envy Kuhn's position here. Two, six, there's not. I have nine. He blocks ace-king. He blocks diamonds. No way. I mean, if you have, like, king of diamonds 10 or king of diamonds jack or king of diamonds queen, this Stop is, like, it. a massive punt if I fold. Okay, so <laughs> Just zeroes right in on the very first guess. Yeah, exactly on Reardon's hand. And you heard John earlier say he just nails everyone's hand every time. And he no did it again way, here. No man. What? And what is happening? Jason well aware of the I type mean, of hands that he has How do you beat. just put it in, man? 10 seconds. 2x pot or something? Oh, 
This would be an ungodly call. But a correct okay. one. You were uncertain what to do, that was clear. That doesn't mean you don't have a hand that you like. You could definitely have kings with a diamond. I don't think you do, though. There are two minutes each for extensions now, right? 10 seconds. No, it's 30 seconds each. Oh, that's no? I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just got six minutes. Oh, I got you. An unbelievably tough decision. Welcome to the Terror Dome. In the stone blender here Sick, is Sick, man. I mean, I guess you could, you could very, I mean, you wouldn't just rip King of Diamonds Queen, though, right? You wouldn't do that. And it's small, and it'll give us Ten seconds. Coon's light on extensions now, Maria. I don't see a big stack of them behind. I mean, this is like... That looks like the last one. He's going to have to have his decision in the next 30. Or his hand's dead. Two time banks and then you put it in. But you want small size on the flop. I'm speechless. <laughs> this is so hard. So much to consider. Oh my goodness. And do I get to keep the last one? Four to one equity favorite hits the muck. And you know Reardon is breathing a yeah, huge sigh of relief through that muffled hoodie. You kidding me? That thing is soaked. <sighs> I mean, how do you ever see that? How, do you, how is that real? I don't know how to play this game. It was a good bet. That was, I'll tell you one thing. That was, only a, bet that that was a very effective bet. I'll tell you that. You might have just did great. If you, especially if you were bluffing. You did a wonderful job. Carrie, did you make the bet? Because I had an enormous hand. Um, yeah, no. Jason had the button last time. I mean, yeah, regardless, that. good result. I mean, you, you kind of don't want to play a pot. Well, I mean, now you do. But we didn't want to be all in, did we? Almost a shove free. Yeah. 